Hello folks, welcome back. If you are like me, you would be launching a lot of EC2 instances to do some experiments or trying out new features that Amazon launches every now and then. And every time you launch an EC2 instance you through the console, you would notice that you are doing a lot of steps, for example, choosing a security group, choosing an AMI, choosing the tags, EBS volumes, and all sorts of things that is necessary to configure your EC2 instance. Have you ever wondered, is there a better way to do this? For example, can I just have all these configurations in a simple and a streamlined way so that whenever I launch a certain instance, for example, I want a web server or I want a certain instance pre-installed with ABC packages, is it possible to do that instead of writing a big cloud formation template or some Python scripts? To answer the specific question, Amazon has launched a feature called as launch templates. It has been there for quite some time. Um, let us go ahead and see how we can use this. So before going ahead and creating a launch template, I'm just going to show you quickly how easy it is to use the launch template to launch an instance. If you go under instances, instead of doing this launch instance, if you just click on this drop down box, you can see there is a launch instance from template. And I already have a template. Later, I'll show you how to create this one. I just need to choose the template here and I'm just going to specify the number of instances and almost all the fields that are necessary are pre-populated for me. For example, the key pair, the VPCs, the security groups and also the tags also. And here I also have some details in my user data field. For example, I'm installing a web server and launching it. So all I have to do is just click on this button and I have an instance ready with all the necessary configurations. For example, the server will have a key pair and it will have access to the internet and I will also have a web server running immediately. Like this, you can prepackage it, for example, if you're running a Jenkins or an Ansible Tower or any other software packages that you want, you can configure it on the user data field and every time you use the launch template, you will have a server up and running almost consistently each and every time without making a mistake. So while the server is going to come up online, I'm going to show you how you can create your own launch templates. If you go here, and then click on create launch template. It is going to ask you what is going to be my configuration. I'm just going to say my, and what is this going to be? I'm, let us say I want a Jenkins server. I'm just going to call it as Jenkins server template. Do you want to have any tags to it? Yes, I'm just going to say function Jenkins. And if you have any specific AMI in your account or if you want to use a community AMI, you can just go ahead and search for it. Or if you have a, your own AMI, just put in the number here. Let us choose in this example as Amazon Linux 2. And then for a key pair, you can go ahead and choose an existing key pair or uh, you don't want to include them. You can just lose, uh, leave it as it is also. So I'm just uh, have a key pair in my account called as uh, VARK. So I'm just going to choose that. And uh, if you are just created a keeper, just go ahead and refresh the screen. You should be able to get that also. And do you want to do it in the VPC or in a classic? I wouldn't recommend you to go ahead and classic. Just choose the VPCs. And you don't have to exactly uh, choose a VPC. You just choose a security group associated with the VPC. Then the uh, necessary VPC also gets attached to it. So in this case, I'm just going to use the launch template security group. If you don't have it, go ahead and create it and come back. Because this is a template we want it uh, all pre-populating the fields here and do you want more than one root volume for example here in this case there's a root volume for 8 gb if you want more space for your jenkins for example let us say you want uh, 30 gb for your uh, jenkins server just go ahead and add the uh, size as 30 gb do you want it to be encrypted or not and if you want an additional volume just go ahead and add the new volume also and any tags for your instance you can go ahead and add them and I want to tag the volumes also with that one. And you don't have to mention a network interface because we have given a security uh, group. So we don't have to do that here. Just click on launch template. Your launch template is created. So now onwards, you can use this template to launch instances. And uh, the interesting thing here is it is all version control. For example, you can see here, I have a launch template which is having an, uh, versions of 11. So for example, if you make some changes and uh, your template is not working fine, I can just roll back here from 11, I can just set my default version to 10 also. For some reason, the UI is uh, not very clear here and I'm just going to make sure that I'm just going to choose the 10 here. Yep, set the default version. And uh, if I refresh my screen, here you go. 
you can see here that uh, the default version has become 10 although there is 11 version available meanwhile if we go back to our instances the one we that we booted some time back should be up and running and remember this is a web server so if i just copy paste this uh, ip address into the browser we should be able to have a web server running so that is how you can use launch templates to consistently use uh, the predefined configurations without any errors and make your instance boot up time really really fast go ahead and try it if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment section if you like our videos go ahead and click on the like button if you have not subscribed subscribe for our channel and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we are launching new videos thanks for watching happy learning